Erwin and Carol Azam are the founders of the Bavarian Inn. The Bavarian Inn, located in Shepherdstown, West Virginia, plays host to local residents and visitors, as well as dignitaries and celebrities of international fame. Billed as European elegance on the Potomac, the Bavarian works hard to keep that promise for our guests and has served nearly three million visitors since its opening in 1977. Our proximity to Washington and Baltimore, a mere 90 minutes drive from each, makes Shepherdstown and the Bavarian Inn an attractive weekend getaway. In fact, the Inn is consistently top-rated in magazines, newspapers, and food and travel blogs. Whether leading the way with our own growth or joining forces with local businesses and community tourism leaders, we have relished our parts in nurturing a world-class destination here in Shepherdstown, an area rich with outdoor recreation, history, and gaming. Erwin Assam was born to Paula Assam in 1938 in Munich. Growing up in war-torn Germany was hard, but Erwin grew and eventually took a part-time job at an ice cream store after school, which launched his future in the restaurant business. He later secured an internship at one of the finest restaurants in Germany. The internship lasted 42 months and he graduated with a trade school certificate. Over the next several years, Erwin worked in restaurants in Riccione, Florence, Paris, and Zurich. On September 29, 1959, Erwin Assam arrived in America with one small suitcase and $100 in his pocket. He stood on deck as the ship steamed into New York Harbor. After several weeks in the States, he made his way to the Bavarian restaurant in Washington, D.C. and secured a job on the wait staff. After a stint at the exclusive Hemisphere Club in New York, he worked at the Georgetown Inn back in D.C. and then was offered a partnership in a new restaurant, the Piccadilly. In 1971, Irwin became the sole owner of the Piccadilly. 1971 was a big year for Irwin. He was introduced to Carol Cranstone, a British cryptologist. And in August of 1972, she became Carol Azam. Born in Sheffield, England in 1941, Carol personified beauty and brains. She served as a sea cadet in the Girls Nautical Training Corps from age 12 to 17. She left school at 15 and, after working as a junior shorthand typist for two years, she joined the Women's Royal Naval Service and was placed in communications. In 1963, the Cold War was in high gear and Carol joined the Diplomatic Wireless Service with the Foreign Office in London. In 1971, she received a posting as a cryptologist at the British Embassy in Washington, D.C., where she met Irwin through a friend of Irwin's who also worked at the British Embassy. Christian was born on November 13, 1974, and David was born on November 12, 1976. In February 1977, Irwin and Carol sold their farm in Virginia and their house in Potomac, their BMW, and they closed the deal to buy the Bavarian Inn in Shepherdstown. They packed their station wagon with a three-month-old, a two-year-old, a dog, and off they went. Irwin admired the house's solidity and the beauty of its location, but the house needed a lot of work. After two fumigations, they hauled the old furniture and kitchen equipment out cleaned and painted, and moved new furnishings and equipment in. The old Bavarian Inn menu included some German food, and Irwin refined and redesigned the menu and the Inn's offerings. The reinvented Bavarian Inn menu also offered American dishes. Over the years, the menu has grown to reflect German cuisine and other European and local Appalachian influences. Irwin ran the kitchen, and Carol ran the front of the house. The very first write-up on the Bavarian Inn appeared in Ford Motor Company's prestigious Ford Times recipe feature in 1978. The famous Washington Post food writer Phyllis Richmond visited with her children and wrote a glowing review which helped bring the Washington, D.C. crowd to the Bavarian Inn. In 1978, the kitchen was expanded and a new addition called the Hunt Room was added. Favorable reviews continued in 1980 including a front-page feature in the Washington Journal. Also in 1980, Delmer Robinson of Charleston, West Virginia's Sunday Gazette Mail 
placed the Bavarian Inn at number one in his top 10 restaurants in the state. More and more Washingtonians were showing up on weekends to eat, then spending the night in Hagerstown or Martinsburg. Guests mentioned that they would love to stay at the Bavarian. Irwin had admired the style of Bavarian Alpine guest houses, and in 1981 they began construction of three guest chalets. The chalets, Augsburg, Bodensee, and Kimsey, ushered in a new era of stylish sleeping in the eastern panhandle. The Danube building was added shortly thereafter. The March 25, 1981 groundbreaking ceremony was attended by Governor J. Rockefeller, Senators Jennings Randolph and Robert C. Byrd, and many other state and local notables. That fall, Irwin received a surprising inquiry that further validated his skills in the kitchen. The editors of Gourmet Magazine requested the Bavarian Inn's recipes for apple strudel and cabbage cooked in champagne. One of the biggest recognitions Irwin earned was the 1982 Small Business Person of the Year, an honor bestowed by the West Virginia District Office of the U.S. Small Business Administration. The Inn's highest profile event of that era was a United States Senate Democratic Caucus called 85 and Forward which was held at the Bavarian Inn. During the conference, Senator Byrd said to his colleagues, your host here at the Bavarian Inn, my fellow West Virginian, was an immigrant on this day, September 28th, in 1959. Arriving with only $100 in his pocket, Erwin Azam never needed public assistance, married and educated his children in all private schools, and has paid back all of his economic development. Now we sit here in his beautiful hotel and restaurant in this great state of West Virginia. That, my colleagues, is an American success story. It was inevitable that both Christian and David would follow their parents into the family business. However, it was important for them both to follow their own paths and get outside experience to bring back to the Bavarian Inn. Christian joined the Bavarian team in 2000 after stints at the Sonnenalp Swiss Chalet restaurant in Vail, Colorado, and the St. Regis Hotel in Philadelphia. David joined in 2005 after gaining experience at the Four Seasons in Philadelphia, Four Seasons Resort, the Biltmore Santa Barbara in Montecito, California, and the Sage and Onion restaurant in Santa Barbara. Christian and David have continued to build their parents' legacy by growing the property into a modern-day resort. In the spring of 2014, they opened Infinity 101, a dramatic infinity pool with a poolside bar and restaurant. As customer tastes changed, they knew that they had to adapt and make changes to meet their needs. In 2017, they embarked on a major renovation to the Greystone Manor that included the 2019 opening of a new brew pub, Bavarian Brothers Brewing. Now, there are several distinct dining options. The elegant Potomac Room, the cozy Rathskeller, the brew pub and lounge, or outdoor dining on the garden patio. The livelier atmosphere has increased the inn's appeal for private dinners and wedding receptions. And the updates, including the Infinity 101 pool and fire pit, have affirmed the Bavarian Inn's status as a resort. Starting with just a vision, coupled with hard work and dedication to excellence, the Bavarian Inn and Brewing Company has grown into a thriving European-inspired boutique resort with over 70 rooms and suites and employs over 100 team members. After more than 40 years, we are just getting started.